<laughs> Let's go now to Alex Eads. She's going to tell you where you need to go to attend this celebration. Good morning, Alex. That's right, guys. We're over in the Portland Community Center where, like you said, you don't have to wait until midnight to watch the ball drop. Instead, you can come out here and watch some balloons drop. And that is if you're how old? Uh, senior citizens. We are inviting all senior citizens out to the free event. It starts at 1030 until 1230. We are strapping a teddy bear to a bike to head on over to the sick kiddos at Driscoll. He will be one of the many that's getting donated today. Last year they donated 430 bears and the goal this year is what? 500. 500 bears. Now, how did this get started? We just came up with the idea, Jerry and I, about getting sick boys and girls uh, teddy bears. And so we just threw it out to our cycling friends and we get them from three inches to six foot bears in all different sizes. And there are a lot of bears already here at the shop. If you're not able to make it out to the ride, you can come on down to Bay Area Bicycles right off of SPID and Airline and drop off a bear. Um, but there is going to be a special surprise if you do join the ride. Yes. Last year we went right by the fire department and I asked the guys if they can do something special for us. And they're going to, they're going to whip up something. I'm not sure what they're going to do for us. But last year we were screaming Merry Christmas. They were screaming Merry Christmas. So they're going to do a little bit more than that this year. All right, so make sure you do come out to Bay Area Bicycles where the ride will start at 8 o'clock so you can see what that special surprise is and see some smiles on some sick kiddos at Driscoll's faces. Our Alex Eads is live with the details. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. We are in the Good Samaritan Rescue Mission's kitchen where Christmas cheer isn't just filling the air, it's also filling stomachs. I'm here with Raphael, and Raphael, Tell me about how many people y'all feed, not just every day, but on Christmas especially. We have about 350 coming out tonight. We normally serve 250,000 meals a year. Polar Bear Plunge, just like the Ice Bucket Challenge, raises awareness for ALS. Now, tell me a little bit about ALS. Um, so ALS, it's a disease that has no treatment and no cure, um, and it has an average lifespan after diagnosis of about three years, and it can affect anyone at any time. Um, it, it affects the muscles and it's just um, something we really need to work on to cure because there's just nothing right now to do about it. And this event raises not only awareness but funds for ALS. It does um, and thanks we have some great sponsors so thanks to our sponsors we can say that a hundred percent of what anyone pays to register or obviously what people donate um, or to buy any of our merchandise all goes straight to this cause and it's a real efficient charity it's called the ALS Therapy Development Institute. Um, they get real good char charity ratings and they're putting all of it toward research. Frio Bear, are you excited? Yeah, it's not going to be that cold for him. Might be a little bit cold for us, but we'll be able to take it for such a good cause. Back to you. Absolutely. <laughs> what a great idea. Thank you, Alex, for the live report over there at North Beach. Oh, look, he's going to take a nap. He loves belly rubs. There will also be turkeys, chickens, steer, heifers, lambs, goats, bunnies, all kinds of animals for the animal lovers. It is a great weekend to get started on those New Year's resolutions, both today and on Sunday, I'm here with Alan. Alan, tell me what's going on today. The annual uh, New Year's Day bridge walk at 10 o'clock, Heritage Park. Come on down and join us. Some people like to jump in the bay on New Year's Day. A brisk walk over the bridge is more my style. <laughs> and how exactly can people get involved? Uh, well, for the, the normal bridge walks, we like you to register. Go to marinaarts.com and follow the link through the bridge walk event and register through Eventbrite. Too late to register for today, just come on down and join us at 10 o'clock. And for the one on Sunday, is it too late to register? Oh no, you can still register for that one and it's at uh, 8.30 in the morning. And who's putting these on? It's the Downtown Management District and for the New Year's Day one we're working with the C District as well. All right, guys, you heard it here. It is a beautiful day to get outside, maybe a little bit chilly, but still beautiful. So get started on those New Year's resolutions right here in Corpus Christi. Bye, guys.